Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Russia. This should be what? Episode number 13? Excuse me, let me move this around. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, I think the first order of business is to actually move our big home fleet, our big, well, our secondary home fleet, home to Europe. Because one, it's costing them a little bit more money to maintain them in the Northeast Asia, but two, I I kind of want to cycle some of these ships anyway, because I know that, well, yeah, these guys are not going to see any action unless we go to war against Japan. So I'll probably cycle like the Imperator Nikolai, Imperator Peter Belikai. These types of ships are the ones that will be thrown back over to Northeast Asia if, um, if it comes down to that. So that's that. And this will have to be moved a little bit more. Otherwise, we don't really have the funds to do anything. We're kind of on this uh, tiptoe balance of trying to get the Retzvazan classes complete. So um, we'll be doing that. I do want a new light cruiser very soon. That's priority number one as soon as we get, well, I guess priority number two because priority number one is getting our Retzvazan dreadnoughts finished. However, we will not, we, we will not be... Um, creating any more of the Red Fazan classes. The ones we have going are the only ones that we're going to build. <laughs> well, the game just couldn't wait for me to utter those words to finish saying that because, of course, it'll offer me another one, and I can never refuse a 10% discount. I'm too much of a penny pincher to get away with, or to pass up an opportunity like this, so this will be our last Red Fazan class. Notice that there is also a um, reduction in the amount of months it'll take. Normally it's 36. This one has a four month reduction. Um, I know that we have, I think we have a few names that I have to update, but I'll, I'll try to get to that after I finish this recording. So um, just to, whenever you ask for a name update, it'll probably take me a month or two to get those, I mean an episode or two to get those updated. Okay, well Great Britain is my uh, greatest like rivalry, tension, whatever right now. The international scene, we are not getting along well with Great Britain. That is not good. We are way too early on to be going to war with Great Britain. However, I really cannot afford prestige down or budget down. So we're going to go ahead and do this, and hopefully it doesn't... Okay, that was only, I think, a one-point tension increase, so I'm going to be okay with that. Monthly balance is basically even. We don't even, it's zero, effectively zero. And let's see, this new one that's under construction is probably the reason why. We should halt this one, I think. So the 10% reduction I see is just a 10% reduction in the number of months, but the cost is the same. So we will halt this one and we'll get the newest one going. There we go. Makes more sense that way to me. The sooner you finish them off, the sooner the next one can begin building. All right. Oh, good. Okay, we're fleet's now in Indian, the Indian Ocean, making its way slowly over over to Northern Europe. Hmm. All right. So now I was doing it by location, but let's now sort by type. So, yeah, uh, battleships are going to be all in Northern Europe, which is going to decrease the maintenance fee, which is good. We do have the Sharp and the Blinston sto still over in Northeast Asia, but they I think they're pretty effective there, because my heavy cruisers are going to be mostly for raiding, although we have seen the amazing success of the Pamyat Azava. I'm a little discouraged that their crew quality has, uh, has gone back down to good. We are still using this uh, really effective training, well, supposedly effective training to get our crew quality up. So it doesn't look like it's doing the, the job perfectly, but that's okay. Okay, this is going to increase maintenance costs for a month, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We're not likely to go to war with anybody soon. Um, I don't know if the crew quality reduces back down after it goes to elite. So I'm going to say, with all due respect, such competitions do not tr give training to relevant combat situations. Do not give training relevant to combat situations. 
Weight savings on machinery, always good. Fire control, fantastic. Finally, we have superimposed B turrets. So we, we have a very effective ship design we can do for our next sh um, big ship, which will be almost surely a battle cruiser. Okay, they're up to the Mediterranean. They're almost home. And I don't think there's anything we need to do. So we'll just keep pressing that next turn button. Okay, yeah. We made it back home, so all of our now all of our battleships are in Northern Europe. How is our fleet presence here? Yeah, we, we have 54,000 tons more than we need in Northeast Asia, which is very good. So, even though we only have a few ships there, two heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, that is more than enough. Okay, very good. Well, let's keep pushing on. Aha, finally our dreadnought is commissioned. Hmm. Well, I think the Russian forces would have a very strong arm to these things. So we will probably do this. This does increase budget and tension, though. Or we can lose prestige, and our prestige is a little bit too low in my opinion. I, I kind of like this the best. Let's get our budget up as much as possible. Actually, this one does budget equally as much. I'm not sure if that's true, but they do it relatively the same amount. So, with our... This African country has left some nationals stranded. Wow. <laughs> Bombard the capital. That is a pretty... <laughs> that is a pretty aggressive response um, it doesn't even say that the revolutionary government is holding them captive they're just stranded there so it seems to make more sense to just send an international squad to contain the violence rather than to instigate more violence yourself hmm but we're gonna do this I know that this this is not good this tension with uh, Great Britain is not good it's the worst thing for us, I think, I would say. But look at that budget. We're actually, we've cleared ourselves enough. Oh yeah, that's so nice to see the rev is on there. Um, got, oh, actually the budget has gone up just because we actually finished this ship, not because um, the budget's gone up from our decisions. Well, time to get the next one resumed. Uh, almost. We're we're closer to being able to build one than not. We're over halfway there. We'll still have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, better torpedoes. Oh yeah, we also need destroyers now that it's it's getting around 1910 is when I start kicking in my destroyer production full full bore. Um, what kind of research do we have? 900 tons yet? Yeah, we have 900 tons. I think the 900 tons breakthrough for destroyers is where your torpedo boats can really become effective. It's also, of course, really nice when you get double torpedo racks, which I'm not sure if we have yet. Okay, I think that means we don't have it. Yeah, I don't think we have double torpedo launchers, which is not good at all. Well, the United States is nothing to be feared. They're really low tensions. So, of course, this was uh, the United States' fault. And we demand reparations even more. ASW, wow, I could really uh, use some better technology besides ASW, but ASW is not as bad as submarines because we're not building submarines, but other nations are. Okay, well, new docks complete. We have our first dreadnought finished working up. It's just perfect, though, you know, the 19 speed. Wait. Oops. I didn't. Um, they didn't want to buy this. Five million. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Take it. <laughs> I've always been about the free exchange of technology because I think buying a technology gets you further ahead and selling a technology only aids one of your six opponents. So it's usually worth it. Torpedo stuff. Okay, well, let's see. What's going on with this... Uh, I thought we had this design, I'm mistaken of course, but I thought we had the Repizan. 
Red boots on. I thought it was, it is a short range ship. Okay, well, fair enough. Our next one probably shouldn't be a short range ship. No, that's right. I've gone through this logic back and forth in my head several times. It's going to be okay to use only short range ships as long as we have some battleships covering Northeast Asia. We'll have our battle cruisers possibly be medium range so that they can sally forth. They can engage um, in the foreign land waters, um, but they should have the speed to disengage. Whereas if you're already in your home zone, well, you're, you're gonna have to fight to the death anyway, so there's no point in trying to run away. Okay, so I mean, you wouldn't need the speed. Battlecruisers should have the speed to escape anything they can't beat. Then I'm going to take this off because we have a little bit of charge in our capacitor buildup. So we can, we can deal with a little bit of leaking of funds. And we just got a, one of our ships released, so that was actually good timing. I didn't pay attention close enough, but yeah. Eight more months before the next one finishes, but now we can certainly get all of these guys going full steam. So 32 more months still before one of these guys is finished. Um, but yeah, eight months, that's reassuring. So we have two out and we have one more in eight months, probably before any war is, you know, we get into war with anybody. Of course, it would be nice to have at least one normal range battleship besides battle cruisers because they do help with sea invasions. Uh, there's just so many things I want to get done and we are gonna have a very hard time of it because our budget is already stretched very thin as it is. Ah, well, very good. The battleship Scare from Great Britain persuades Parliament to authorize additional funding for the Navy. I will take it. This is uh, just blasphemy. We would never curb our naval spending. So the ambassador from Great Britain approached the Minister of Navy, suggesting that we curb our naval program in the interest of peace and stability. I... Duh, duh, duh. They could call a disarmament conference. Okay, we have two dreadnoughts out. We have three more being built, so I don't know if that is a good idea. Hmm. At the same time, it's about... Mm, okay, well, well uh, how many months do we spend? No, we spent too much money on those, and I don't know what the state of building of the big... Uh, the big capital ships. Um, what's the status of that in other nations? So we're going to do this. It didn't really affect tensions that bad. Let's just take a look. We should probably stay very abreast of this. Yeah, we would have been hurt the most. We have four dreadnoughts building. USA has four, but everyone else has, you know, just you know, three, 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 two. So we would have been hurt the most by this, especially because I'm pretty sure our dreadnoughts have the highest tonnage or at least they're very close to it, so it would have hurt us a lot. Okay, well, that's good to know that we made the right decision there. We are getting a lot of these. Wow, this is fantastic. We just, I think we'll do the long-term prosperity. I don't know how much effect this has, but prestige is finally getting up there. Around 30, I feel a little more comfortable about stopping my prestige uh, my attempts to get prestige. And as we wait a little bit longer, these other techs are coming around, which is nice. I'm surprised Germany isn't offering to sell us more technology or wanting to buy it more from us, considering we're allies. I think that does promote um, that kind of stuff. So we're finally at, the, at a really good situation. I'm going to build up our docks a little bit larger, although eh, 3.2 for, th we're at 30,000. Where's everyone else in the world at? I feel like 30,000 for where we are is pretty decent. 29, so 32, 29, 29. We're ahead of Great Britain for God's sake. France, 29, Japan, 30, 31. Yeah, so we're, we're only behind Germany, really. Uh, there's some people at 31, but come on, 30, 31, it's the same, right? Everyone's on an even keel, and that's a very appropriate expression for once. Okay, I'll do it though. We'll build up our docks one last time. That should get us to like 32, I think. We shouldn't need much more than that. 
Because you can build end game ships with 32,000. So I don't think size is going to be the limiting factor. It's really going to be more about technology. And I think in that we're pretty far behind. Yeah, we can see we are advertising 13 inch guns, but let's see. Okay, well, Germany is, yep, 14 inch guns. Austria, okay, I'd really like to go to war with Austria Hungary. <laughs> they only have 12 inch guns. Great Britain is up to 14 as well, 14, Japan 12. Yeah, we're not so far behind, despite our poor education. An unidentified submarine torpedoed and damaged our dreadnought. Blasphemy, how dare they? She will be in the dockyard hands for four months. There's no clues. Well, it was obviously Austria-Hungary, damn it, anyhow. Well, we know we don't want to take it to the international court because that could lead to a disarmament treaty and we haven't gotten our other dreadnoughts out quite yet. It was obviously Japan. I don't have a better alternative and it would be nice to take some of Japanese holdings. So, holy cow. Oh boy. Um, so, urgent matter. Get some of our ships over to Northeast Asia. Pronto, Tonto. So, we will once again be picking... I mean, hey, if we're going to war there, I don't think people would complain about being stationed there. And it's a tough one. Because if we go to war with Great Britain, then I want all my ships home. I'm going to launch these guys out. Whoops, that was not at all what I intended to do. going to launch these guys out preemptively. So go over to Northeast Asia. Hopefully war doesn't break out while you're in the way. Otherwise, we'll... yeah, so ASW mines, yeah, take this. Give us the money. We have enough money. We have torpedo protection level two. That's fantastic. Probably, it's time, it's gotta be time for that light cruiser, right? Or destroyers. I mean, one of the two. Uh, and we really should take a look at our ships to see which ones are gonna start to go to obsolete because it's now 1910. We have 1909 upgrades for the destroyers, 1905 for the flora, so they're probably the, okay, their Pamya Azwa is the oldest, as is the Afstafi, so these both need retrofits. Well, that's unfortunate, I just launched them out, and we don't want them to be caught while we go to war with Japan. 10? Is it at 10? Yeah, it's at, it's tension is 10, that probably went off the camera there, but I'm just, I saw that it was 10. Is it too close to war for us to upgrade? I think so. If we have a drop in tensions, then I will, I'll change my statement. We'll go ahead and retrofit, but <clears throat> until I can be sure that we're not gonna go to war with Japan like in the next two months, I'm gonna have to leave that, which means that yes, it is time for a new ship. What do we get? What do we get? I mean, I still feel like a light cruiser is going to be a inc better incremental improvement. Even though we don't have any destroyers, I feel like the light cruisers are still um, more important. So let's design a short range, really fast scouting light cruiser. Because we don't, I don't think we need to upgrade our um, rating light cruisers as often. I just want it to be really fast, short range scouting. Because until I can get destroyers to be scouts, um, I'm going to be using this as my scout ship. So yes, 27 is kind of like what I would like. We'll go up to 5,500. A belt of 2.5 is probably sufficient. Conning tower of 5, turrets of 2.5 as well. What do we have here? 4-inch guns, good god no. No, 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 no. This is going to be difficult, but how many guns? Did, see, I don't like this 2-4 guns. I'm going to delete this, delete this. Delete this, delete this. Let's add a forward and aft single turret. And now if we update our graphic, one, two, three, four, five, six, a nice six-sided broadside. I think this ship is pretty much perfect as is. We can even throw in two more torpedo mounts. 
They won't be able to launch at full speed, but that's fine. We can slow them down when we want to actually encourage torpedo launching because 25 is the max speed for submerged, um, for submerged launching. Yeah, everything else about this ship I like so far. And we can get rid of this. I don't need tertiary or secondary guns or tertiary guns. Um, oh, I would like to get this up to two because I don't want explosions impacting my turrets. It's going to impact my deck, the splinters, but I would prefer not to take my um, those guns out of commission. Well, let's just go up in tonnage. Okay, this is good. We'll make it a 5800, which is pretty much the size of all our light cruisers so far. This way we can get the two. Conning Tower 5, we can increase the ammo now. We'll probably just bump this up as much as possible. I'll do, okay, I'll do 190 to give us a little bit of space remaining. One, that'll mean that hopefully the ship is not slower than we think it will be. And two, that'll give us a little bit of space for refitting our fire control. So, looks like this would be called the Reuben. I don't think we're missing anything. Engine priority... If it's going to be a short-range ship, maybe we should make it based on speed. I'm going to leave it normal, because I'm not sure... I, I'm not entirely sure what impact the engine priority has. It may have some strategic effect. It may have some... Um, tactical effect. So I'm worried about making it speed and then the tactical effect being that their engines burn out a little bit faster, um, which would be bad. And how much would it be to get 28? Yeah, about 300, 250. That's, I just can't conceive of a way where we'd be able to swing that amount. So, so there she is, the Reuben, our new light cruiser and that should be a good light cruiser for a pretty long time because it has the good armor scheme just about everything is nice about this ship yeah so let's go ahead and build a few of these oh they are much more expensive than I thought let's get five of them to start because that is probably all we can afford okay good so I feel better I feel better about doing that Yes, extend it, by all means. Okay, we're at the Indian Ocean, we're almost there. Just a couple more. The Vladivostok is almost back. Better torpedoes, okay. And this is about the time why or where your destroyers become more effective, but I think we're still so now let's pretend that we're going to do a destroyer. Yeah, we only have single torpedo mounts. That's just that's just crippling for a torpedo vessel. We need at least double mounts before we can consider doing a destroyer. I wasn't really factoring that in, but I'm really happy that we waited. I'm pretty sure it's in um, the light forces. So let's put this up to high because we really need that. I mean, th this is the one that's the lowest. It's at only level 3. We've had really bad time with this light forces and torpedo warfare research. Unfortunate. Okay, wow, we have 5 centerline turrets. That's incredible. And 14-inch guns. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. We can get 14-inch triple at quality 0. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. Like, I am extremely ecstatic. Our, our next battle cruisers are going to be something to be feared for maybe until the end of the war. Can you imagine? I, I mean, let's just let's tease it here. I can't afford it right now, but if we just tease this battle cruiser, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Something, okay, no, see, you almost had it. This is going to be devastating. This kind of ship, look at speed of 27. We can get speed of 27 at only like 28,000 even. This is for 28,000 we can get this ship. I'm going to get probably 5-inch guns. If we get quality 1 for 5 or 6, those will be the ones I designate for the battle cruisers because now at this point your 14-inch guns are going to be blowing everything away except for destroyers. 
so I find it's probably it's still okay to go to five inch guns because um, their accuracy may be slightly less unfortunately that's just because the max range affects accuracy even at short range but nonetheless I'm the five inch guns should fire more often so it should be an even better chance of killing the destroyers otherwise this is not a bad ship I mean you'd sacrifice a lot of armor to, speed of 27 is magnificent we do want torpedoes because uh, just had a problem with those I like this ship but we can't afford it obviously so we might as well wait for future technology advances before we commit to that but that is a really nice looking ship I'm like I am crossing my fingers the game does not cla uh, crash right now <laughs> Oh, we will embarrass France, yeah. I mean, you remember that time when we fought that war? That was embarrassing itself. Hopefully not too much to me. I don't know what things caused the unrest level to go up. I'm not exactly sure. Like, why did it go up there? I'm not sure. Hmm. Hey, it's been like 25 minutes in this video, so we'll probably call this video to a close here. <clears throat> okay, so the Austro-Hungarians Austro are using the cross-deck fire for their battle cruisers. Speed of 24. Decent armor. I, to, I, honest to God, like our dreadnoughts over their ship. They can get 8-12 inches, but I think we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we can get 1, 2, 3, 4. We can get 4 broadside no matter what angle we're firing at. Like, they have a... The cross-deck fire has a narrower envelope. I don't think we have cross-deck fire yet, which is funny, because we're just... We already have 5-plus center line. <laughs> we don't need it. I'm pretty sure... Do we ever get cross-deck? Can I... Um, yeah, okay, well... Just suggest one. Can you suggest one with cross-deck? Okay, no. You're not going to because we, we shouldn't use it. I understand that. Okay, let's clear the turrets. Let's pretend that we want a cross-deck one. It's like F and starboard aft wing. I think that's it. Cross-deck fire. Yeah, cross-deck is not researched. <laughs> F K G J. So I had it wrong anyway. Oh, uh, this one maybe is not too far up, or this one's too far back. Yeah, this one's too far back. So we need. K. We need this one. There it is. So now there should be. Cross deck fire is not researched. Okay, good. So that would be the configuration, but yeah, we have five center line instead, which is amazing. But I don't think our battle cruisers would benefit from getting the fifth turret. Usually, you benefit more from upgrading um, your initial ones from like two to three guns per turret, rather than adding a whole another turret. I think it's heavier to add a whole another turret. Okay, well, I think things have going are going well. Tensions with Japan are still pretty high. If any of the individuals here, like Fromtoff, Spera, any of these captains, prefer to be, I mean, just. You can recommend your own orders. Leave a brief message. Um, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to go explore Northeast Asia. <laughs> we'll send you that way. But I'm trying not to go to war with Japan. Or maybe I should see if the tensions with these other ones dropped a little bit more. I will push the the Japan issue. Problem is, I don't have any good battleships over there. And what does Japan have to offer? 10, 11 inch guns. Well, I'm not too worried about that. I actually have 12 inch guns on these guys. This is, uh, okay, 4 by 11. So that's really simple design. We could take that. 12, wow, very heavily armored. And their original ones are only 10 inch guns with a single turret. Okay, yeah. Actually, they have another one, which is the 4x12. This is your standard configuration. Very similar to mine. So they would greatly, greatly outnumber us, obviously, because we only have three battleships there. But I think we could just send over some more battleships. Maybe we should focus on taking care of Japan first. 
securing our own little borders and then uh, what are we dealing with here because you can't take very much territory from them because they don't own anything except for their home waters basically so you can't take Tokyo or Japan from Japan we could take southern Korea I'm not sure if it this is either 10 points to take or it might even be I think it's 10 points to take very expensive it's like uh, let's find out oh the value is only six okay so we could take it. What is the value of... This one's only two, and this one is two. Okay. So we wouldn't have to... It wouldn't have to be like an overwhelming government collapse for us to sneak in Southern Korea. But... Yeah, we gotta call this video to a close. We're running a little bit over time, so... Anyways, um, let me know if you'd like to be transferred to Northeast Asia. I think we'll try to pursue a Japan first approach here, but um, I'll think a little bit more about it off camera, and we'll pick this one up in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching.